musicians are extraordinary listeners and often we think of ourselves as players, makers of sound rather than people who receive sound. But we've actually spent so many years of our lives training our ears and our sensibilities. So we experience the world through our ears. That skill is actually incredibly transferable. Of course, you use it in a rehearsal room, but you can use that really deep and meticulous listening in so many other contexts as well. And I found that probably the strength that I can rely on most is my ability just to be quiet and listen. I absolutely love Hollis Taylor and John Rose's Absolute Bird Concerto. I suppose I have a particular connection to it because I have a connection with those artists, the composers who actually wrote the work. And it's a great privilege when composers write a piece, particularly for you. It feels really personal. It feels almost like a child that you want to shepherd into the world and take great care of. For me, birdsong is definitely music and birds are the original musicians. They're the ultimate musicians as far as I'm concerned. I suppose I say that with a bias because I have a great love for birds and because my instrument, the recorder, is very bird-like. So I feel like I'm slightly tuned to those frequencies. I've been reading a lot about birds and birdsong these last years and there's some amazing scientific studies talking about birds as musicians as well as birds as communicators and certainly Hollis Taylor and John Rose's piece that I'll be playing is something that is so inspired by and completely grounded in bird songs. I have the great joy and fun of trying to turn myself into a bird and that's just pure pleasure. But I also love the piece because it's embedded in the environment. It starts and ends with environmental sounds and bird song and the sounds of cicadas are woven right through the piece. So it's a very strong environmental statement and a very strong statement about place and particularly about Australia. Melbourne is my hometown, so Melbourne Symphony Orchestra are my home orchestra. And as a soloist, you travel a great deal. So quite often I'm playing with strangers but playing with the MSO, I'm playing with friends and colleagues who I've known for so many years. I'd say the Melbourne Symphony has a really open and warm sound and there's a lot of character. The orchestra is full of characters and it's a culture that allows those characters to speak. So it's quite a playful orchestra. As anyone watching this would know, last year was a really challenging year for musicians. And to be able to be reunited with colleagues and friends and to be able to actually make sound together in a room is just such a privilege. And I don't think it's something we'll ever take for granted again. <laughs>